guys welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're new here my name is esther Bofri. so last week i took three trades and i want to show you why i took these trades and what made me be in the trade until my last take profit so this is audio sd i saw this double bottom forming you can see this is our first attempt i saw this double bottom forming first attempt second attempt so my idea was to identify my neckline and this was my neckline so once you have a possible double bottom the other thing that you need to identify once you have identified your neckline is the half of the neckline to the top to the bottom so i had my half at 68.29 that was my first take profit if i would have get involved in this trade and then my second take profit is the half of the remaining part from 68.20 to the neckline this was the second half uh, the second take profit so i was so so eager to take this trade but i would use my three entry signals to enter this trade so let's uh go back to the possible what i was seeing this is what i saw in the market and i was like this might be a possible double bottom it was not confirmed so my three entry signal will always guide me on when to enter such a trade number one wait for green candle to form so the mi the minute the market has not formed a green candle i cannot get in the trade i cannot get involved the second one so the first step had to occur so as i was waiting this is what i found i found a green candle let's go to check two uh entry two check if it's bullish engulf this candle was bullish engulf and guess what I entered immediately and I knew my first take profit was at 68.29 and my second take profit was 68.60. So I had two position. One I put at 68.29, the other one was 68.60. For the 68.60, for me to get confidence, I had to get a candle that is closing above like that. If I had a candle closing above like that, I was good to go. I knew the market would go to my second entry so for the second entry it was just a matter of seeing a candle closing above on that uh that half so i i entered and uh it was my time to i entered the trade and i was just relaxing wait waiting for what now waiting for the next uh thing so this trade was a bit uh tiresome because it first went well but at the second uh, candle, the market didn't hit my TP and it was like consolidating on one place. But because I was confident with such a setup, I knew it will hit my TP. So you can see even with this big momentum candle, it was not a worry for me because I knew first take profit has to be hit. So what I did, I waited, waited waited and when i saw this bullish momentum candle i knew we are going to hit my take profit so we hit take profit one and now i was waiting for the market to close above and once i got this candle i was confident to hold to take profit two and that's what happened because the market hit my take profit too so from there i was not interested to get in the trade until i would see how the market would close so that was my trade on audi usd and if we can see the current market where it is the market it's at that point so that was a very successful trade let's go to usd card usd card i also saw something there was a possible double top again i told you double top double bottom it's easy to trade so this was a double bot double top and again i marked my neckline and half of my neckline so there goes my half so this is my half you can see 29 uh, 50 was my half once i had my half in place what i needed is an entry signal so for me i'll give you where i got the entry signal so the first thing that you observe in the market is for the red candle to appear because already you want to sell this market so this first red candle appears it was not a bearish angle so i didn't pay much attention 
But when this red candle appeared and it was not a bearish engulf, what I did, I put WBB, uh, I used WBB strategy for entry. So if I used WBB strategy, you can see the, the red candle broke it broke that box and that was guys my entry so my first take profit was this position my second take profit was here so what i did i entered and i left the trade so after leaving the trade the trade was so uh, the sellers were they struggled to take my my trade to hit my tp and around this place that's when i closed my trade because i saw it was just few pips to my take profit so i just closed manually but see what happened once the market started to go up after two two candles the market came back and completed what i tell you it hit the take profit so even if i i had holded this trade the tp would have been hit so what i came to understand is that the market did not uh it broke this zone i'm not sure if it will go to take profit too that one I'm not sure, but I can't get involved in this trade because why? We have a break of structure above here. So for me, our USD card, I will watch it using daily time frame for more confirmation on which direction the market wants to take. So I, again, USD card was a successful trade. Now the last but not least was Audi JPY. So for Audi JPY, it was special. Why? Because I checked from daily time frame. And for me, I thought the market may create a possible double bottom. We had attempt here and the market again is attempting here. So what do I do? What do I do immediately? I understood that this is my neckline. If this is my first bottom, this should be my neckline and this is my second bottom so having my neckline i knew where is the half of that place so i had my half my half identified at 9360 so my half was very clearly so i went to forward to look for an entry so guys know that i had my half 9360 was my half and then I went to daily. So daily is this. This is what I found on four hour. And that's why I tell, I'm telling you guys, once you have a setup, you are very sure of your setup. So once I went to my four hour, I used my three entry signals. Wait for green candle. So the green candle appeared. You can see we have a green candle here. Check if it's bullish and gap. My candle was bullish and gap. So I entered immediately. I will be sharing some screenshots that I shared in the group. I entered immediately. So after entering, after entering this trade, uh, the target was 9360. It was so it was 126 pips, I guess, 121 pips from the entry. So once I entered, I knew uh today we are getting 120 something pips. So after I entered, the market started to misbehave because immediately it started to come down. But I was not worried. The first, the first thing that I tell guys is that you need to be sure with your trade. And even if the market really um, started to go down for me, I hold it, I hold it to a point that I thought now that the trade would be invalidated once the sellers break the support. So for me, I hold it, I was coming, checking but the trade started to come back the buyer started to gain momentum you can see how many hours i was here holding this trade so for me i knew if my setup is wrong i will know when to exit but i was so confident with my setup you can see the market started to come up and i'll show you guys where i came out so i at this point because of this red candle I was closing my trade. I had already made some few uh, amounts because I was adding positions once the market started to come down. So I even I think I had a trade around 91.70. So from this position, I was like 141 pips. I had made a lot, use, uh, stacking in some trades when the market was going down. So by the time the market, the price was here, I was like, I'm good. I don't need the price to come all the way here. So around this point is when I closed my trade. So the market started to go up, down, making sellers coming in, buyers getting uh, 
control. But the best thing is that even if we had this big momentum candle and you might think sellers are taking control, one thing that you need to understand is that the market will always go back to that half and complete it. And today's market, today is on a Monday. I can see clearly today is when the market would have hit my take profit. So guys, this is a strategy that I will forever be using. I will try to teach people on how to do it. Even if you see these are uh, candles that are, that bring uh, they bring confusion. Just stick to your half, and the market will eventually go to your half. I didn't wait because I was again. It is a Friday. I don't want to close in with a trade. I have already gotten some money. So this trade really went to my half as uh, ninety three sixty two. And I'm so happy because the strategy is working. That was what made me almost three hundred dollars. That is thirty thousand Kenya shillings. And um, um, I will be sharing more videos on when to enter, where to enter, and what to look for. Thank you so much for watching, and I love you so much. Bye bye.